all right people what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and look what we got here we got a little bit more gameplay for cyberpunk 2077 uh it is the deep dive gameplay ign posted this up not too long ago for like 20 minutes ago so i'm here i'm here to take a look at it 15 minutes more uh gameplay so i'm down with that uh we didn't get too much gameplay during e3 we got a nice uh, cinematic then of course we got that Keanu Reeves reveal uh, and then we got like a very small snippet of gameplay but I'm sure they show gameplay somewhere else I just didn't watch it um, but now we are deep diving we go right into it uh, even though last year we got a good deep dive into the gameplay I can't believe by the way it's been a year since that like 40 something minute freaking preview thing that happened uh, and I'm pretty sure it was in August last year as well so it's a good time to do it again. Uh, it comes out uh, April next year. I'm excited. And uh, CD Projekt Red just confirmed after this, a new Witcher game's coming. <sighs> oh, boy. Anyway, let's uh, let's watch this. 15 minutes. And not even. It's 14 minutes. They lied. Sorry. It does say 15 minutes, though. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's watch. AV, you all right? Is that Keanu? Let's do this. So is Keanu your actual like partner? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm feeling it right now. I don't like it. What now? Mm. Johnny. Oh, is that a? Who's Johnny? Is that Keanu? Where's Keanu? <laughs> What's going on there? Okay. Where are we? Our BBS. Data fortress. Okay. Yeah, gotta get cold. Bridge to the deep net. Her name is Brigitte. Or Brigitte, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. Alright. Oh, I can't wait to drive through this freaking. Oh, damn. I hope there's no sections Welcome blocked off. Oh, it's this guy again. I love this guy's voice. Deep dive video. Let's In go, last baby. Last year's gameplay reveal. We showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk 2077, its quests, and visual design. This year, we'd like to give you a peek at some of the play styles you'll be able to adopt as your character progresses through the store. Through the environments. You're about to Remember see sequences that. embodying two distinct approaches to playing Cyberpunk. We'll show you a strong solo build, that is, a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action. And a Netrunner build, a playstyle taking frequent advantage <laughs> of stealth tactics, <laughs> hacking, and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. I say that, but I do a lot of stealth in games, so I'll, pro I'll probably be like a mix if you can do that. I'm sure you can do that. Districts. Two gangs, the animals, and the voodoo boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, the digital construct who haunts our main character, V. Really? Okay, so he's not even caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game deep into the main storyline, we okay. have edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Be aware that the gameplay as presented mm. does reveal characters and locations I'll trust you'll them. see while playing the game's main story arc. I trust so them. watch at your own discretion. I'm good. I, I trust you to edit out the, the good stuff. Where are we headed? Is that Keanu Reeves too that they showed? Because he sweet. looked a little weird. In this video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacific, one of Night City's six unique districts. No oh, I can't wait to explore yeah. this. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. 
when uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Okay. Ongoing gang wars plague. Dude, look how good the environment is. Outsiders don't come here if they don't have to. Look at the detail. By night city Jesus. Standards. It's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated car would be the safer option. <laughs> okay. But places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start so your There's a good search. reason to go into the more dangerous areas. The Grand Imperial Mall is a whole other story. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently, it stood vacant, but now a game called The Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Not going right. Oh, hey, you got pizzas, baby! And that's what you need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the animals' rivals. Hey. What the heck? You could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in. Many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077. Voodoo boys. Voodoo boys are the most skilled at using the net. So these guys are going to be the most annoying to fight. Oh, Keanu! This mysterious gang of highly skilled net runners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are the. We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. It's a good world building. The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Hansen. Say you got Merc work you need to do. Merc work. Still, to earn their trust, That's fun to we say. need to prove our worth. Merc work. See, one of the Voodoo Boys higher ups has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. 2035-07. Three seconds before, oof, the camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. The animals are not your normal gang. Their presence in Pacific really is strong, suspicious. They value might above all else and wear melee combat implants. To name like that, I would just assume. Combat. Look at that Their beef boy. Their choice is juice, a potent strength and speed enhancing concoction. As sought after bouncers, they're usually dispersed throughout <laughs> town. As skilled street level business types, they've cornered the market in illegal substances and underground live or die prize fights. When they converge in one spot, it's for something big. It's then they appoint the fastest and strongest among them as their ad hoc leader. In this case, it's a woman named Sasquatch. There's Sasquatch. It's a great yeah. name. That's a woman? As as Alright. No Hell yeah. Can we advantage. romance her? This is the tech Placide was talking if so. about. It seems non-standard for the Hell animals. Yeah. And this is where we come in. Getting to the van won't be easy, but we're more than qualified for the job. Which we can complete in one of the I love that they ways. put that in there. The inhaler. The character creation there, there's Keanu, I saw him. ...is the kind you'd expect from a full-fledged RPG. You start by choosing your past. Important, because this Forest unlocks song. special options at like many story junctures. RPGs. You also fully customize your character using a deep customization system that's... Yeah, they got rid of the gender stuff style, recently. also your abilities. Cyberpunk 2077 I mean, I really does not care. feature fixed classes. Instead, it has a fluid class system that allows players to mix and match a wide range of abilities to suit their play styles. Okay. You can create a strong solo character, a skilled netrunner, or any other hybrid class you can imagine. Can I be good at all of them? I want to be good at all of them. Nobody, nobody talking about their legs. I remember that. You shot my fucking legs off. Solos prefer a direct approach. They use guns and might to get things done. So let's wreak some havoc. With 
our enhanced strength, okay. we can strip this turret of its weapons and give the animals a taste of their yeah. own. Yeah. This is how a player investing in solo abilities might live out the That's Terminator so power good. fantasy. Hell yeah, man. Enhanced strength lets us force open doors. Ah. Uh. I love that they're showing how awesome this place style is already. <laughs> Hell yeah! You keep shooting your dude, baby! <laughs> Not lethal, take that. I don't think it matters anymore. Go for the throat! Even someone as fast and strong as Sasquatch, the leader of this group of animals, is not impossible to beat for a solo. I love- oh shit! <laughs> I love a good one-on-one. -on -one. has a different game plan. She's out to jack in and hack us. Let's see how this plays out. Ready for some fun? Pussy, what's going on? Looks are deceiving, I guess. I wouldn't expect her to hack into you. <laughs> there you go. Well, you lose anyway. It's our choice if we want to finish her off. Or spare her. Spare her. Your cyberpunk. Spare her. Your rules. Spare her. No! What the fuck did I just say? I said spare her. And strike from the shadows, no problem. Just develop your net running skills to get around obstacles or hack into enemy tech to have it do the dirty work for you. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right. That's awesome. So. How'd you hack that? Oh, did you cut the, I guess, the string? I don't know. I don't, I don't get how that machine works in this world, though. The more instructions we match, the more control we gain over elements in the network. So we can hack our way through in numerous ways. It's very, very a quick uh hack may grant us control of the security camera. Another very intuitive. One let us tweak the difficulty of the training bot to create a distraction. Oh my god. Oh with our nano wire, we can even hack this guy's implants from a distance. And just like make him fucking explode. That's awesome. In this world, almost everything is connected All right. to you're, you're selling me on this stuff. So. And that means it can be hacked. Which brings us back it. to cyberspace. You don't get to do anything in the net unnoticed. There's always someone watching. It could be Corpos, or even worse, it could be Netwatch. And that is exactly the case here. Alright, so they'll actually go after you if you use it too much. Netwatch. They always have to fuck us. Netwatch and the Voodoo Boys are like fire and ice. The first of these wants to maintain the old order and protect people from AI anarchy originating from beyond the Black Wall. The Voodoo Boys want to establish contact with the free AIs. They believe this will enable their boundless expansion on the net and grant them the upper hand over Netwatch. Netwatch sees this as the end of the world. Both are right. Whoa, hey. How you deal with the Netwatch agent is entirely up to you. Do we side with the game? Choosing to be on Netwatch's bad side is never wise. But can we really trust the Voodoo Boys? You set me up! As you can see, we have many possible options. But in each case, we take a risk. I think I'll just stick to my food. Oh, oh, oh! oh that was the, yeah, that was the part we saw earlier. Give me your brain, son. Is he kill- are we killing all the net- the agents? What? That didn't work out well. No. In the world of cyberpunk, few things go as planned. There he is. And that was just oh. a glimpse of how complex <laughs> that we get more. the branching storyline <laughs> in Cyberpunk 2077 can get. So this is gonna be like the Every Joker in a will have consequences. Arkham Knight. Choices will shape pops up randomly. Reacts to you and affect your relationships with those around you. One of those relationships is special. 
Ever heard of Johnny Silverhand? A rebel rocker boy who will be your companion throughout your adventure. He does look low. Come he on, looks weird. You think they give a rat's dick how you look? <laughs> like a rat's dick. Cyberpunk 2077, he has his own agenda. You'll decide if he'll be your ally or your enemy. And that chip in your head, the one thanks to which Johnny lives inside your mind. Well, that's a story for another time. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited for that game. Oh, I'm so excited for that game. Oh, uh, all right. Well, there you go. That's 15 minutes of new gameplay for Cyberpunk 2077, and they went deep into it. I was actually surprised by how deep they went in, because the last gameplay we saw was very. It was it was edited. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, it was, but um, it was it was way more free flowing. It was just like, ah, oh, let's play a little bit, you know. This one was like very much edited. So, um, but it was a good idea to do it like this because we already saw forty something minutes of just almost unedited gameplay. I mean, it was edited, but it was it was there was long chunks that weren't. Um, uh, so I think it was a good idea to have one that's just like here's all the little things you could do. Here's how this will uh. uh connect to this and stuff like that uh the two gangs and stuff i, I i'm interested man the play style for the hacking really surprised me but then they added that whole uh the agent stuff where i was like oh, man, i don't know i don't want i don't want to screw with that <laughs> i don't want to screw with the agents uh because uh they, they'll fuck you up <laughs> it seems like i'm looking forward to it man i really am I, I, and i i mean it's not just because keanu reeves is uh, I, I was already uh, so excited for that game uh back when they announced it what in 2011 i was like oh this looks interesting i'm excited was it 2011 or 2012 um but uh yeah <sighs> i'm glad it's back baby and it's only a few more months away i mean like not few like well i guess it's like seven several months away but you know what Take as long as you need. Let it cook. I'm waiting. Just like everybody else. I mean, we wait until now or next year for it to come out. Since you announced it, like, again, what, 2011 or some shit? Maybe it was 2012 or 2013. It was, it was pretty... It was pretty... It was a long time ago. That's the point. It's been a long time. Um, so just take your time. I'm waiting. And I'm waiting for that Witcher 4, baby. Take your time. Take your time. I'll be here unless I'm not. And if I'm not... That sucks.